Miguel Torres is pound for pound one of the best fighters in MMA and the WEC Bantamweight Champion. He's also one of the most respected and skilled fighters in the sport today. This elite level requires more than talent. It takes discipline, dedication, two qualities that have helped Miguel overcome adversity and make him WEC's most exciting fighter. I always knew somebody was watching me, so I always try to stay on the right path. In my neighborhood, a lot of the kids didn't have that. You know, they had, you know, one, one parent in the house or they didn't have any parents in the house or, you know, they didn't have a lot of structure. So I knew my parents sacrificed a lot to be here. Um, they were trying to provide us a better life and they were trying to help us to be better people. And uh, to show my appreciation for that, you know, I, I try to do the best that I can. Going into a fight, confidence is one of the biggest things I have on my side because I've experienced so much. I've trained with some of the best teams in the world and some of the best guys in the world. And I've never had a problem with any of them. Oh, look who's here. Oh, the turkey is putting in that coffee. Every fight that I, that I have is an experience that I feed off of. That's a moment in time that never changes. When I'm training for a fight, though my opponent is doing the same thing in the opposite part of the country. Um, he's going through his hardships. He's sacrificing his time from his family. He's putting his time in to, to fight me. And unless you're a training partner or you're the person fighting, you don't understand what that takes. <laughs> for me, keeping the belt is as important as me winning my next fight. Sparring with no cup is not smart. Instead of being at home, comfortable, laying down on the couch with a cover with your girl watching TV, you know, spending time with your family, you're in the gym, you know, you're getting hurt, you're hurting people, you're, you're putting your time into something that, into one moment, that's going to never change. What's important to me is, is each fight, is each experience that I have from the fight that I get. Miguel's official record of 35 and one is, by his own admission, an understatement. He claims it's 48 and one, a very intimidating record for such a young fighter. With 22 official submissions and eight knockouts, Miguel displays the determination to finish fights. This determination finds its roots in Miguel's family and his community, two pillars that help mold him into a well-rounded fighter. Um, growing up in my neighborhood was, was a little bit tough, man. Uh, a lot of gangs, a lot of drugs, uh, a lot of bad influences. Um, but the thing that brought me through that, I had a good family. Um, I had my parents there all the time. Even though my dad always worked, he was always there to let me know what was right and what was wrong. Um, my mom was always there taking care of us. Miguel is a wonderful son. Uh, ever since he was small, he was a go-getter. And everything he did, he excelled. Now he's a father, and he's a wonderful father and a wonderful person. You know, to fight, you know, when I go out there and I fight, you know, I do it to honor my family, to honor my father, my father, my grandfather's name. You know, they, they've done a lot for, for us to be where we're at, and uh, I consider that uh, an inspiration to me, and it's one of the main forces that drive me. When I go out there, it's not really about a belt or about making money. Even though that stuff helps to maintain a lifestyle that I have, the, the big thing that comes into play is, is, you know, the family honor, you know, the honor that I bring to my father. To see him happy when I do something makes me very happy. Today, Miguel instills his family values into his students, providing them with the esteem and encouragement he had growing up. Because if you're out on a fight and someone tries to grab you, you could do an ombo on them and escape. Or an escape for what? What's that called? Self what? Self-defense. Self-defense. You understand? I've, I've been through the same things, um, gangs and drugs and all those things, and, and I've come up and I've been able to reject those things and, and embrace other aspects of life that are positive. And uh, even though the kids don't realize how special it is for me to have a gym here for them, they just come and they take it for granted sometimes. That doesn't bother me because I know I'm doing something positive for them that's going to impact them. You know, five to ten years on the road, they're going to realize, you know what, Miguel was here when he could have been somewhere else, making a lot of money to help us, you know. And, you know, I'm not here to get the, the thanks now. I want the thanks, you know, 15, 20 years from now when they're world champions, when they're doing big things with their lives, whether it's in martial arts or in business or in school or with their doctors or whatever, they can say that I was one of the people that stayed to help them, inspire them. Last two minutes. Go. 